so far on FIFA 13, Olivier Giroud has just been amazing for me. His first touch is at times below standard, but his finishing on his left and right foot has been simply top draw. In real life, fair enough, he's been doing decent recently, but he started off pretty badly, missing quite a few easy chances, and taking some outrageous shots from outside the box. But on FIFA 13, he has skills to pay the bills. Quick feet when you're doing skill when you're doing the actual skills with the left trigger, and see that pass there to Paul's goal. It was amazing, amazing. You want to pinpoint? See it again there. Boom. Do two scrolls. Uh, when you use the one touch control, he does glide past players quite easily, and you can see there that smash with his left foot was top quality. Power straight through it. Um. As you all know probably already, he's good in the air, and you can see he was just stood up in the air for him, and he put it in the net, no problems, wasn't going to miss that. And he's done 8 out of 10, which is really, really good, considering he's only 78 off form, 80 on form. So, when you need a header up, good header of the ball, Jiri is always going to be there, as you can see. Good cross again, he's going to attack it really, really well. Um, in real life, he scored quite a few headers recently for Arsenal. Uh, you can see here he strengths out Vidic. Good shot, good save actually. And then out jumps Vidic again for the goal. And this happens. Uh, it's a bit unpredictable sometimes when he does win a header. But when he does win a header, it, it does feel like he actually fought for it. Again, good header into the against the Gea. Does constantly in the, uh, and again, yeah, keeps backing it up. Definitely enough evidence to suggest he's going to be going to sort of play here. Gets a shot off, doesn't get goal himself, but creates the goal for another player. It's good for him. He holds up the ball really, really well, which is what you've got to remember. Taking a few penalties with him. As you can see here, his green bar is quite big. Left footed. And gives you a lot of options. Since he's a decent finisher up on penalties. Uh, he scored five goals in real life uh, recently, maybe not against the best opponents, but he's doing his job. And maybe, just maybe, he does score when he wants. Again, a good finish of his weak just then. Uh, he's running constantly, I notice, to get in the right positions. He's a striker, fair enough. He's always making himself available for the captain as well, I find. As, he, as you can just see that, he made sure he got beyond the goal speed to finish that goal. Here he spun the offside trap, onside, smashes it, low and hard, easy goal. But finish which I'm very confident of taking on, and not to mention his near post strikes. Olivier Giroud, top quality player, and maybe, just maybe, he does score when he wants. Boom, again, weak foot, finish, quality striker. And in real life, I definitely think a lot of people need to be transferring him in in fantasy football. And maybe if you informed and stuff like that, especially if he carries on. He's got those types of shots where he might score him or might not. So he's not the best player, but for 80 overall, he should be putting those shots on those are the types you want. But again, good hold up play, creates holes for others, as you can see just there. Good play, holding it up. And his stats are decent. So in his Arsenal career so far, he's got 6 goals from 17 appearances, 10 as a substitute, and not bad. Ten starts, sorry, seven and some shoot, six goals. I think him playing with Walcott is going to bring much more goals, as we all know, and I've seen already against Schalke and against Fulham, three goals in two games. Walcott's been involved, so maybe, just maybe, he will score when he wants. Anyway, the wildest, and stay tuned for some more.